Good morning, everybody. Welcome to our next week of Net 298, Microsoft Server and the uh, different exams that go with it. Uh, this is Mark, your instructor, as usual, and I want to welcome you to the next week. Uh, we just finished up our Zoom session yesterday, which was the last Zoom session that we will do for the term. And um, I just want to encourage you to finish the class strong. Take a look at the grade book, get everything turned in that you need to have turned in, and uh, let's get the best grade that we can possibly get and uh, get this thing done so you can move on to the next classes that you have. Uh, this week, we're talking about setting up um, the ability on a network to share printers, to share files, things like that. Uh, one of the beauties of a network is, is that uh, it allows us to work together. I mean, we may take that for granted, but it hasn't been too many years ago that uh, you would have to actually save something on a thumb drive or put it on even, God forbid, an old three and a half inch disc or a five and a quarter inch floppy disc or something like that and give somebody a copy of, of your stuff. And there was no way that uh, you could collaborate other than uh, you would do the work on one computer, save it. To whatever medium you were saving it to, take it down the hall, hand it to someone else. They would uh, make changes, if you will, or adjustments to it, save it to that medium, bring it back to you, things like that. And with the advent of networks, we're, we're um, much more able to collaborate with each other. I can open up a PowerPoint. You can open up the same PowerPoint. We can work on it together, even if you're halfway around the world. Um, the beauty of that... Um, for the end user is is very easy to do but as the network administrator uh, there's work behind the scenes that we have to do you know obviously to set things up and make it work and uh, so forth so we're going to be talking about that likewise sharing printers I know printers can be very expensive especially in businesses where you're using massive copiers that do color um, that do black and white obviously that they do collating and stapling they do large jobs. Um, they make and scan all kind of things. Those things can run up into thousands and thousands of dollars. And it's not feasible for everybody to have their own version uh, of a printer always. So it may be that uh, what I've seen, most of us will have a small, inexpensive printer for small jobs, maybe on our desk or in our office. But then we are networked into a very nice, large printer. Uh, for other kinds of jobs and stuff. So again, you're, as a network administrator, you'll be setting that up. Um, in some ways, playing a traffic cop. For an example, if I click on if I click on print and you click on print at the same time, whose print goes first? You know, is it first come first served? Does one have a right over another? How do you how do you set up the printer so you don't mix and print both of them together? So you know. That's all the kind of stuff that we're going to be working on this week. So I think you'll find that kind of interesting, not too hard, I don't think, unless you're in a massive company with a lot of stuff. But for an example, if you were to set up a network around the house where your yourself and your spouse or significant other had a laptop each, maybe you have one printer between the two of you, uh, things like that, um, relatively simple to do. So we're going to be talking about all of that this week. So again, I want to welcome you to the, I think this is the ninth week, if I'm not mistaken, and we only have 10 weeks. So we've done all the Zooms that we're going to do. You'll just have a couple of more announcements from me and that'll be it. And uh, again, I just want to encourage you to check the grade book, turn everything in, get the best grades you can. Text me, email me if you got any kind of concerns, I'll be happy to help you. Hey, I'll see you in class.